Hey guys, Krishna Madhav Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 6 from the John 2017 POA Paper 2. If you want to see the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Just a couple of things before we get into the solution. From Jan 2017, go back, the, paper, the PUA paper had seven questions. There were three compulsory questions and a section two that had four questions from which you will choose two. That's why from, on my videos from Jan 2017, go back, you're going to see seven solutions. And from May 2017, go forward, you're going to see five solutions. The next thing is that this question deals with nonprofit organizations. For CSEC students from May 2019, go forward, the only aspect of nonprofits you had to know accounting wise was the receipts and payments account. Now there is a receipts and payments account in this question, but there are also other aspects which students who are doing syllabuses other than CSEC might find helpful. So I'm going to do the whole question. And you never know, CSEC might change their mind and reintroduce the majority of this topic back to the syllabus. So if they do that, well, guess what? You have the possible solution here already. And with that, let's get into the solution. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna take a read of the information. So Miracle Charity Group is a non-trading organization non-profit organization, which provides temporary shelter for persons who have lost their homes. On 1 September 2015, the 300 members of Miracle Charity Group owned the following assets and liabilities. So we have a little list here. We have bank overdraft, foodstuff inventory, shelter furniture, government grants owing to the group, that's a receivable, shelter building, 15 members with subscriptions in arrears, and wages owing. So for those of you doing the CSEC syllabus, you all, again, um, in this year, 2021, you all don't have to know about subscriptions per se, as in how to do a subscriptions account. But long story short, subscriptions are like membership fees that the members of the nonprofit organization have to pay to stay um, a member of the group, right? So that is actually their major source of revenue, that and fundraisers. Now, what does the question want? They want us to prepare a classified balance sheet of Miracle Charity Group as at 1 September 2015. Now, just so you can see, um, they, they've given you three columns to work with. I am going to use a single column approach uh, just to kind of keep stuff a little more in line. And if you have any questions about it, you can let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so let's get stuff going. So, of course, we're going to take it in a regular um, format, a regular layout, starting with non-current assets, going to current assets, and then we're going to subtract liabilities to give us the what you call the accumulated fund, right? Nonprofit organizations, that's what they call their capital, accumulated fund. So we're going to start with the non-current assets. So I'm seeing shelter furniture and shelter building. So we're going to put those two items first. So let's get going. So non-current assets, shelter building, shelter furniture, and we have a subtotal for total non-current assets. Now for current assets, I'm seeing foodstuff inventory, government grants owing to the group. Now we don't know for how long, but I feel like that's probably supposed to be a current asset. And, and 15 members with subscriptions in arrears. So like I said, subscriptions are the membership fees the members are supposed to pay to the nonprofit, to the, to the organization. And if the members have not paid it, they owe it to the organization. So it's almost like account receivable, which is a debtor. <clears throat> and that's a non-current asset. So current assets, we have the government grants owing to the group, the foodstuff inventory and the subscriptions and arrears giving us <coughs> sorry total current assets of 52,120 so we could do a total for current assets a total for assets sorry and then now we just have a couple of current liabilities we have the bank overdraft 13,400 wages owing of 15,205 so those two things go there now we have no no other information regarding liabilities so that's that figure 28,605 is our total liabilities so that's going to give us our net. So we're going to subtract that from the 220, 675 and get net assets. And that's going to give us the accumulated fund. If you want to get with finance, buy accumulated fund, uh, but that's up to you. Okay, so that's it for this part of the question. Let's take a look at part B. Okay, so it says during the year ended 31st August 2016, Miracle Charity Group recorded the following cash-based activities. So we have a whole list of stuff here. So I'm not going to go through each one one by one. I prefer to populate my receipts and payments account as I go through. Um, and actually, that's, that's, that's what they want. They want a receipts and payments account for Miracle Charity Group for the year ended 31st August 2016, right? So if you guys wanna see my receipts and payments account video, I'm gonna put a card up there and a link in the description below. So basically, a receipts and payments account is like a cash book with one column. So it's just their bank account. Now, if you remember from above, they had a bank overdraft at start, right? 13,400. So that goes on the credit side because a bank overdraft is a current liability and liabilities have credit balances at start. Next, 
we have purchased foodstuff. So if we purchase foodstuff, we're spending money. It means money is going out. Our asset of cash or bank is decreasing. And to record a decrease in an asset, we need to credit the asset account. Uh, next, we, we receive full subscriptions from 275 members, right? So remember, subscriptions are our major source of revenue. And it's a receipt. It's money coming in. It's going to increase the bank account. So we're going to debit the bank account. Oh, sorry, debit the receipts and payments account for that. Then it says here, we received a raise from 10 members. So once again, it's a receipt. So that's going to go on the debit side because it's going to be increasing the asset. All right. Uh, another receipt, it says received government grants, 83595 So that's also going to go on the debit side. Next, we have purchased new furniture. So it's a purchase. It's a payment. It's going to go on the credit side because when we buy something, when we pay for things, we spend money. That means our money is decreasing. Money is an asset. Cash and bank is an asset. So to record a decrease in an asset, you have to credit the asset account. Then we have added 10 rooms to building. So it means that we built 10 more rooms. So that's, that's, we had to pay for that, we pay for construction. So a payment again would cause that to decrease. That's gonna go on the credit side there. Everything we have after that is payments, paid wages and paid for painting old rooms. So let's take a look. So we're gonna put both of those on the credit side. Now, if we um, populate those things there, right. So I feel like we're gonna have a balance carry down from the credit side and brought down on the debit side. So we move from having an overdraft back to having a regular um, debit balance, right? So we got, enough, we got enough money in to offset the overdraft, pay off the overdraft and cover all of the expenses. Okay, all right, let's check out the next part of the question. All right, so it says the following. At the end of the year, members requested a report on the financial position of the group. Additional information will affect the report uh, which will affect the reports sorry, include the following. So food stuff in the amount of 17,110 on hand as at 30th June. Uh, we had then right building and furniture owned at the end of the year are uh, depreciated at 20% of the original cost plus all capital expenditure costs per year. Now it says prepare part of the report for the members of the Miracle Charity Group for the year ended 31st August 2016 to show the following amounts, show all working clearly. The first thing they want is the amount of food stuff consumed for the year. This is basically like a cost of goods sold calculation. We're going to have open in stock plus purchases minus close in stock. So let's just um, shift around so you guys can see where I'm pulling that information from. Right, so in the opening information at the very top, we can see foodstuff inventory at the start. So that's our opening stock of foodstuff inventory. Let's put that here. All right, balance had started here, 16,375. Let's look for purchases now. So in the second table, we found purchase foodstuff as the first item, 93,680. So we are going to add that, and that's going to give us the total cost of foodstuff available. Now, let's go back down to check the closing stock figure. What was that again? Right, so the foodstuff at the end was 17,110. So that's the closing stock. You're going to subtract that. It's going to give us a cost of foodstuff consumed of 92,945. Okay, let's check out the next part of the question. Okay, so it's saying the total depreciation expense to be subtracted. Let's go back up to the information to see what we need to calculate that. Okay, so this part of the question says building and furniture owned at the end uh, of the year are to be depreciated 20% of the original cost plus all capital expenditure costs per year. So let's go up to the top to see what the starting balances were for those items, shall we? Okay, so I'm seeing shelter furniture, 48,555, shelter building, 120. So let's populate those figures down here. Balance that started here. So you're seeing 168,555, so that's the sum of those, the 120 plus the 48,555. Let's take a look in the receipts and payments account information to find out if we spent any more money on non-current assets. Okay, so we're seeing two sets of things. We're seeing we purchased new furniture, which is capital expenditure, and we added tenants to building. So capital expenditure is any money, any expenditure to acquire new non-current assets or to improve existing non-current assets. So that's what's happening here respectively. We bought new furniture, we acquired new non-current assets, and we improved or added to the existing non-current asset, the building in this case. So we're gonna add those two things together right 12 or oh, as he purchases right add capital expenditure and we're going to get total value to be depreciated now what was the depreciation rate again right so it says that we're supposed to depreciate at 20 percent so let's just multiply that figure by 20 percent and we are going to get the depreciation expense for the year of 55,800. let's take a look at the next part okay so this part says the amount of subscriptions paid per member 
All right, so how are we gonna figure that out? Well, first things first, let's get back up to the uh, information to take a look. Okay, so in this line, in this table, it says we received full subscriptions from 275 members, 222,750. So we're gonna take the, um, the subs received in full, which is the 222,750, and we're gonna divide by 275 members. And that's gonna give us $810 member and now on to the final part of the question okay so it says the amount of subscriptions outstanding from all members at year end okay so the easiest thing to do here is a subscriptions account again this is not currently on the csec syllabus so for anybody else who's not doing csec and you need to know how to do a subscriptions account i'm going to carry you through it now okay so first things first let's see if there was any opening balance for subscriptions did anybody did, did anybody prepay or did anybody have any subscriptions in arrears let's take a look so it says 15 members with subscriptions in arrears. Okay, so this is gonna be brought down on the debit side because if members owe us subscriptions, that's basically like a debtor. It's a receivable, which is an asset. So that's gonna go on the debit side of the account. Next thing we have to look for is any subscriptions received. Let's check out the receipts and payments account information. Right, so here we have two sets of receipts. We have received full subscriptions from 275 members and received arrears from 10 members, all right? So those will go on the credit side here because they went on the debit side in the receipts and payments account. And your credit where it's coming from, your debit where it's going. Okay, so remember the question asks us to find the amount of subscriptions outstanding from all members at year end. So they want us to find the closing balance. So that's probably gonna be carried down from the credit side and brought down on the debit side. But what figure is missing? Well, that's the income and expenditure figure, the amount of subscriptions we were supposed to receive. Let's go back up to the top of the question and check out some information there first. Okay, so it says that Miracle Charity Group has 300 members. And if you remember in the previous part, let me scroll up a little bit down here, right? We found out that the members paid $810 each. So to find out the amount that we were supposed to receive in respect of subscriptions, the income and expenditure figure, we're gonna multiply 300 by 810. And that's gonna give us the 243,000. Now all we have to do is balance off the T account, the subscriptions account, and we'll see subs accrued, subs in accrued? <laughs> Sorry, I think I wanted to put subs in arrears. All right, so subs accrued or subs in arrears, and that's brought down on the debit side. And that's, the, that's basically it for this question. Okay, so if anybody has any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you wanna check out more videos, click on one of these cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Check out my website for some free POA handouts and the links in the description below for free POA solutions. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.